Nearly forgot you, didn't I? How are we doing? Let's get this sorted two secs. We're all done there. How's it going? So are you recording? Yep. How's it going? I'm in a good mood today. It's good. I'm actually uh, in a positive frame of mind today. <clears throat> Which is uh, not bad, considering nothing's changed since the French bread bad mood rant. No French bread was harmed in the making of that vlog, by the way. But uh, what has changed is I've been able to process it. And when you process something, it makes it better. Do you remember the, do you remember the rant vlog a couple of vlogs ago? I actually, I genuinely wanted to do that because I wanted to see myself afterwards actually of how bad it was and what can happen and how it can change and how things can change. And uh, it clearly did change. But it actually took two or three days of processing. You're aware that me and Shelley are divorced, both of us. Uh, we come from divorces. Uh, Shelley's was a little bit easier than mine because Shelley's uh, financial side of it was a bit more simpler. Mine is still, the financial side is still going on. So I've still got to uh, process the rest of the financial side of it. And it was that that was actually having an effect on, um, on my mental well-being at that time. Something occurred that absolutely made me blow my stack. However, as I said to before, nothing's changed. It's still the issue's still there, but I've processed it better, and uh, I took a leaf out of my own book from years ago, really, from when I was in the motor trade. When somebody told me, "Is how you choose to react that's important. It's how you choose to react, not how something affects you, but it's how you choose to react to that." And I think that is the most important part of it. And I've managed to react to it in a way for myself where in a much more positive way that it actually doesn't affect me anymore. So uh, the issue's still there. The issue will get sorted. As always, time will sort it out. But it's how I choose to react. I don't look back on it. I'm looking forward on it. I'm looking at moving through. So quite, uh, quite happy that that's been processed. It goes to show that the idea of the vlog really was that I wanted to show that happy-go-lucky people also have bad days. And that's it, really. I had a bad day, but I wanted to capture it rather than just, like, ignore it. And, uh, and show that we have a bad day, but it's unchanged now. It's, uh, today's a different day. Today's a good day. I live in Tenerife, man. Can't really complain about that, can I? Do you know what I mean? So that was first thing. Second thing, the support of Kevin's vlog, Scotsman in Tenerife. It's been phenomenal. Thank you so much. A lot of people have watched it. A lot of people have positive commented it. He's genuinely, genuinely a great guy. He's a really nice lad. Um, I met him a few years back. I, can, I know I can call him a friend because what I liked about it was uh, last year he surprised me with his mum and dad walking into the bar and coming saying hello to me. And you know, you know, when somebody says to his mum and dad, go in that bar and go say hi to him, then you know that the guy's a friend and uh, I think he's brilliant. I generally do. I think he's such a nice lad. And he's so unbecoming, so smooth, so calm that uh, he deserves all the success. And the other oh, thing about it is... The reason why he's so successful, and this is this is something that we actually did. We know what he does, we know how he does it. His calming voice and stuff like that. But the reason why he deserves to be so successful is because he's got no agenda. He clearly does it for a job, that's what he does. He does it very well. And I mentioned this before, like, try before you buy, and I said that. Me and Shelley, at the end of April, we're gonna take a holiday to Gran Canaria. Now, we've been there once before, stayed around Mass Palomas area. We thought it was okay, but we didn't, it didn't, I mean, it's not like this. There you go, you, can you see where we are, by the way? Do you know where we are? Comment below. Um, it's carnival, look at this, man. Just before I carry on that story, carnival, look at that. Bit different, isn't it? Carnival at the moment. Me and Shelley thinking about going to Gran Canaria. We've been to Mass Palomas, we thought mm, it was okay. We didn't really know where to go, so we thought, well, what about Puerto Rico? We drove past that. Morgan, we stayed in Morgan for a day. We think it's enough for a day, but not enough for us for like three or four days. So we went, hang on a minute, why don't we just go on Kevin's channel, go on the playlist of Gran Canaria and look at the area. And this is where it actually works. Because we looked at Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico on his channel and he's showing us around and we're like, well, that's a bit too hilly, that for us. So we're looking at all these other areas and we actually found a place. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. But we've now chosen it, thanks to Kevin, really. Just let's let me go. 
Gotcha. So we actually found a place. Gotcha. And um, down to Kevin. So thanks, Kev. It's worth it if you're going anywhere around the Canaries, anywhere in Spain. Not sure where you want to go. Try before you buy. Go and have a look at his channel. The link, I'll put the link in it below again for you because he's uh, he's helped me out and he's uh, he deserves all the support he gets. He needs to get to 40k. Let's see if we can get him there. That was the first thing about it. It was uh, the try before you buy. It's an absolutely fantastic idea. It really does work. The other thing I was going to talk about. It's gone. Three things. One, I'm feeling all right. Two, Kevin. Third one was a good one as well. Is that age? <laughs> Is that age when that happens? You go, oh my lord. What was it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> complete little mind blank. And I get on the bike on the way home and I'll go, that was it, man. That was it. And I can't remember what it was. Let me have a think. Have a bit of a view and I'll have a think about it. It's a beautiful area. I remembered it. I remembered it. It's about a bit of a weird one this one. It's about always being right. You know sometimes you get good feelings and the good feelings come into reality. And you go, I knew that. I knew that. I'm putting this one out there now, right? And stick with us. So stick with us, I'll just see what you think at the end. I'm not a conspiracy theorist by the way. Have you seen conspiracy theory? Have you ever seen that? It was a great film with uh, Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts, I think, about a guy who wrote a little newspaper about all these little conspiracy theories. And everybody thought he was mental and he just thought he was a crazy guy. And then all of a sudden, one of the theories actually rang true that he hit. And then the, everybody came after him, like the FBI and the CIA and that. And these helicopters in nighttime were coming down. And it was a great film, really good film. It's, uh, look it up if you've not seen it. It's a really good storyline. I hate being right. What, what do you mean by that? I remember... Covid lockdown. We got locked down in March, I think it was. I actually remember the October before that reading about this, and I went, "That's going to be massive." That. I went, what do you mean? I said, "That is going to be something's going on there. It's going to be massive." I remember Donald Trump going, "It's nothing. It's just a little flu, and it's going away." And I'm like, "No, nah, that is going to be big." And it was. I was right. I, I just knew it. I don't know what it was. I had a gut feeling. I went, "That is going to be massive." Second one. Again, reading about it a couple of years back, Prince Andrew. And the same thing, I went, oof, that's huge. And they're like, people are trying to push it away and stuff like that. And it was uh, the paper, I think it was the Daily Mail, I kept reading, they just wouldn't give it up. And I went, this is going to be, this is going to explode. And this is a few years back before the uh, before the interviews and before Epstein, it was it Epstein died? But it was, uh, the interview then came along and it was a car crash. And I'm like, yeah, this is just, but I, I had a feeling about this years before, well, yeah, years before actually, before that all came to light and where it is now at this moment in time. So the next one I've got now, careful about this one, all right? Be aware, <laughs> don't, I'm only, I watched an interview. Um, I watched a vlog about three weeks ago. And it was a Johnny Harris vlog. You know I'm a big fan of Johnny Harris. Uh, again, I'll put a link to him below. He's brilliant, if you've not seen him, you need to go and look at him. It's a bit windy down here, actually. Go go back that way. I'm gonna walk back up this way, just purely because of the wind. I think I get around the corner, it'll be just too windy. Johnny Harris, great YouTuber, three million followers, National Geographic reporter. He did one on UFOs. I'll leave the link below. I don't believe in him, by the way. Well, never say never. He did one on UFOs and it was brilliant. And it's all about facts and stuff like that. And then next thing you know, unidentified flying objects are getting shot out of the sky uh, last week in America. I know one was a weather balloon, I know that, the Chinese weather balloon, I heard that. But they're actually saying now that there is unidentified flying, not, not, not UFOs, they're not calling them that anymore, I can't remember what they call them. But they are unidentified and they don't know what they are and they're shooting them out of the skies. Now I'm thinking to myself, 
Am I going to wake up one morning like Will Smith? Open the door in Independence Day and just see a spacecraft in the sky. Can you imagine? Do you remember V? The film, the programme V. Do you remember that when that happened? I thought it was a great show. Just all of a sudden, it just appeared all over the cities. Do you remember when she had the baby? And then the second baby came out and it was the lizard. Ooh. But I don't think it's going to happen. But, on well, this one, let's put it one way. I hope I'm wrong on this one. But it was just a funny thought in my head. I was like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't really believe in UFOs. But there's a lot going on, isn't there? There's a lot going on at the Mo that I can't work out. I'm not sure what it is. But there we go, it's, uh, that was the one it was. No wonder I couldn't remember what it was, to be honest with you. I ain't really got much else to say. I just thought I'd put these things in, leave you with it. As always, you know what to do. The, the count's growing. You know, the cult is growing nice and big. We're enjoying it, over 1,500 now. Thank you so much, that was a big, uh, big one. As always, you know what to do. We'll see you on the next one, okay?